What's up, my piano friends? Today, I'm gonna take you from zero piano experience to learning your first actual song on piano all in one lesson. And along the way, you're gonna learn the basic fundamentals of piano and some tips to learn faster and shave years off your learning curve. And trust me, the song we're gonna learn at the end of the video looks really impressive to your friends and family, even though it's actually ridiculously simple to play. There's gonna be an easy cheat sheet that diagrams out everything so easy even a kindergartner can learn it. And make sure you stick around to the end to learn the biggest beginner mistake. And trust me, you do not want to make this mistake. It can literally add years to your learning time. All right, I'm excited. Let's get started. All right, so if you already know the names of the notes on piano, feel free to skip ahead. But if not, it's actually very simple. See, the piano looks like it has like a bajillion notes, but it's really just seven notes. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And then they just repeat. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Going up the entire keyboard. So first, we're going to learn how to find the note D on the keyboard. So if you just look for any group of two black notes, two black notes here, here, or here, the note in between these two black notes is always the note D. And it's actually very easy to remember because it actually kind of looks like a dog with two ears and a snout. So dog D. Then we have three notes to the left of D, which if you know your alphabet is simply A, B, C. And then we have the note D. And of course, the three notes after D is E, F, G. And then it simply repeats A, B, C, D. And we have our dog, right? E, F, G, A, B, C, D. We have our dog, E, F, G. So it simply follows the alphabet up to G and then it repeats. So if I told you, for example, find a G on the keyboard, well, there's two ways to do it. First, you could find a dog. So let's say dog, note D, and then count up D, E, F, G, and here's our note G. Or you could do it the easy way, which is just to print off this simple cheat sheet, stick it on your piano, and you'll have it for any note you need to know. And by the way, on the same cheat sheet, if you scroll down to the bottom, there's also gonna be the simple patterns we're gonna use to learn our first song. So if I were you, I'd go download it now. We're gonna be using it the rest of the video. So click the link, put in your name and email, hit submit, and you can click here to download the cheat sheet. All right, now let's talk about basic C position. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna take your right thumb and put it on the note C. So as you can see on the cheat sheet, here's a C. And then you can take your left pinky and you put it on the note C just below your thumb. So now we have our two C's and the rest of your fingers are just going to line up on the next four notes. So we have C, D, E, F, G, C, D, E, F, G. And your hands are gonna stay in this C position for the rest of the video. All right, so let's start learning our first song, which uses the four simple patterns on the cheat sheet. All right, so let's start with pattern one, and we're gonna play these four notes going up the keyboard. So as you can see, in the left hand, we're gonna start with pinky thumb, right? Just pinky thumb. Try that on your own, pinky thumb. And then on the right hand, we're gonna do thumb middle. All right, try that. Thumb, middle. And so when we put them together, we have pinky, thumb, thumb, middle. Try that. Pinky, thumb, thumb, middle. And all we do is we repeat that pattern over and over. So pinky, thumb, thumb, middle, pinky, thumb, thumb, middle. And to smooth it all out, all you have to do is mash down the pedal with your foot and just hold it down the whole time. And if you have a piano with three pedals, we're gonna mash down the rightmost pedal, and then it's gonna sound smooth. And once you speed it up a bit, it's gonna sound like this. So pause the video now if you need to and practice that. Try repeating it over and over for a bit and get it in your fingers. All right, so now let's go back to the cheat sheet and look at pattern number two. Now you'll notice it's the exact same as pattern number one, except instead of playing our middle finger in our right hand, we just play our pointer finger. And you'll notice for all of these patterns, the first three notes are the same. It always goes pinky, thumb, thumb. And then the only thing that changes is this top note in the right hand, everything else stays the same to make it nice and simple for you. So pattern number two goes like this. Pinky, thumb, thumb, pointer. 
Try repeating that over and over and get it in your fingers. Pinky, thumb, thumb, pointer. And once you have that, we're going to put these two patterns together. So we're going to do pattern number one four times, and then pattern number two four times. So it's going to sound like this. Pattern one, one, two, three, four. And now we're going to switch to pattern two. One, two, three, four. Already, this is starting to sound pretty cool, right? So now let's go back to the cheat sheet and let's look at pattern number three. And guess what? Pattern number three is the exact same as pattern number one, right? It's just pinky, thumb, thumb, middle. So we already learned it. Very, very simple. And then finally, pattern number four, you'll notice it's the exact same as pattern number one, except our right hand plays our ring finger on top instead of our middle finger. So it looks like this. Pinky, thumb, thumb, ring. Pinky, thumb, thumb, ring. So pause the video and try practicing that. All right, now that we're back, we're gonna try putting all of these patterns together. So remember, we have our four patterns. Pattern one. Pattern two. Pattern three. And pattern four. And so now for the grand finale, we're gonna play each pattern four times. Remember to hold the pedal down throughout this whole thing. So the whole thing is going to sound like this. Pattern one, two, three, four. And now we switch to pattern two, two, three, four. And then we switch to pattern three, two, three, Four, and then pattern four, two, three, four. And once you get it fully sped up, it's gonna sound like this. Doesn't that sound impressive like you're really a pro? But look how easy it is, right? So if you're excited to learn this, hit that like button. Because check this out. Let me show you how easy it is to create some really cool variations to spice this up. So we can play this same pattern on any C on the keyboard to give it a different sound. So the first time we used this C and this C, right? But we could put our thumb on this C and our pinky on this C. And now it's going to have a different sound. Same exact pattern, but now it has a more like beautiful quality to it. So maybe, you know, when you play for your friends and family, maybe you start off up here. And then afterward, you bring it down and you play it down here. You could even play it all the way down here. And you can be creative and do whatever you want. How cool is that? But check this out. We can also play this pattern on any G position and it's going to sound cool. So G position, as you probably guessed, simply means our left pinky and our right thumb are on G, right? So instead of C, we find a G, put our right thumb, and we find a G, part our left pinky, and we can play this exact same pattern. It's gonna sound like this. How cool is that? And of course, we can take any G on the keyboard. So we could take G and G, play the same pattern. Or we could play G and G. Any G on the keyboard, it's always gonna sound good. But check this out. You can also change it up by playing any of these four patterns, repeat it any number of times in any order, and it's always gonna sound cool. So for example, you could start with pattern number two, and then go to pattern number four, and then go to pattern number one. Sounds like this. Pattern two, four, one, 
Maybe you go back to four. And you can do anything you want and really be creative and mix it up. How cool is that? But wait, there's more, <laughs> right? I feel like one of those infomercial people. Wait, there's more, except all of this stuff is free. But check this out. What if we play these patterns, but we play all of the notes at the same time, right? So for pattern one, instead of pattern one like this, we play everything at the same time. And then we can play pattern two at the same time, pattern three, and then pattern four. And you can play these four, what's called chords. Uh, we'll talk about that later, but we can play these. Same patterns in any order, in any rhythm, and it's going to sound awesome. So you could play. Or you could play it up here. Or you could play it in G position. How cool is that? This one pattern allows you to be super creative with playing it in G position or C position anywhere on the keyboard. And with a little bit of practice, you can play what I just did pretty easily. Imagine playing that, you know, for your husband or your wife's anniversary or for a family get together, or, you know, maybe surprise your friends at church when they're like, wait, when did you learn how to play piano like that, right? It's pretty cool stuff. But now I have some bad news for you because there's a huge mistake beginners make that adds years to your learning time and you do not want to make this mistake. And we'll talk about that next. But first, if you like this super simple way of teaching where you can play really cool stuff very fast on piano and learn some fundamentals at the same time, hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. I'd hate for you to miss out on any future videos. All right, now let's talk about the huge mistake beginners make, and that's this. If your goal on piano is to play your favorite songs from the radio, you know, pop, country, oldies, rock, jazz, blues, any of those genres, you do not need to learn how to read sheet music. And in fact, you will save years of time learning piano if you learn to play with what's called chord shapes instead. Now, if your only goal is to learn classical music, you are going to have to learn to read sheet music, and it takes a very long time. But on the other hand, in the next lesson, I'm gonna show you how you can play hundreds of your favorite songs from the radio in no time at all using chord shapes and a simple cheat sheet. That's kind of the next step, you know, lesson two in this piano journey for you. So if you're interested in that, click this video and it'll give you the step-by-step -step process. And trust me, this is the video that's gonna give you that light bulb moment, that aha moment when it comes to learning your favorite songs on piano. So click the video and I'll see you in the next one.